check in with meteorologist Darren Pack with what is next. Going to start out in the Tri Valley, Juliet, because this is where we got a 10 degree cool down today. Thanks to a strong onshore flow, we're not looking at clouds here over Dublin, but you can certainly see them over the Golden Gate Bridge. And this shows you there's a strong onshore surge, low clouds for the bay, but cool air that kept going from here into those inland valleys. And we got a nice benefit of a cool down on that. Let's switch back over to the weather computer and I'll get some more numbers on here if we wanna just take that full. There we go. Now the monitor looks like it's waking up. Look, it's 86 in Concord, 65 in Oakland, 81 in Livermore and 66 in San Francisco. So what happens next? We're going to take these numbers from where they were today, a little below average, and they're going to start to climb a bit. So by the time we get into Monday and Tuesday, we're back up into the 90s. So it's going to get a little warmer if you're inland, but it's not going to get terribly hot. We're not going into any kind of heat wave territory, which is good news considering there's certainly a lot of potential for that. Watch what happens with the marine layer. Comes back in tonight. We start out gray for everybody again overnight and tomorrow morning. Burns right back to the coast by late morning. So it's going to be just like today. And just like today, it'll be a thick enough marine layer. We'll probably get a little bit of light rain in some of the more likely places like along the coast or if you're in the city or maybe even the East Bay Hills. But it's basically just marine layer mist. It keeps the temperatures pretty mild overnight. We go down into the mid and upper 50s for morning lows. Daytime highs tomorrow are going to be just pretty much a degree or two above today, maybe a little more than that in places. We'll have to go to 88 in Concord. We'll go to 85 in Livermore. Danville goes to 85. Back in the immediate bay, we're keeping these numbers right where they should be for this time of year. It'll be 80 for San Jose, 73 in Oakland, 77 for Fremont. Nevada goes to 83 tomorrow, 85 Napa, 91 Santa Rosa. You'd been in the 80s today, and we're still doing those hundreds here in Clear Lake. There is still an excessive heat watch for Lake County, and over into Mendocino County, where it is still going to stay hot for the next several days. You're not getting the benefit of the onshore flow like we did in the Tri-Valley today. And we pretty much just keep doing this. A little bit of a warm-up to Tuesday, which we saw. But we're going to cool down again after that. And the rest of the seven-day forecast looks pretty fantastic, especially in light of the history-making heat wave that's impacting much of the rest of the West right now.